Alright, so we're here watching TV. I'm trying to mine the silver up. So Rick is, is his main job cleaning? Yeah, Rick constructs, then cleans. Right, so let's flip that. Let's go. I know. I went haul and clean. Structure, sandstone wall. That it's <laughs> rebuild that wall real fast. Finish meditating. some of these berries please I forgot the cow is restricted indoors isn't he uh, animals you can go back to animal one I promise it won't kill you. I think I stuck you indoors when we had the, the mechs. So I didn't want you to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. So marble blocks, woo! best to keep up with the uh, the cooking demands. I'm trying to force him to get all the way up to 20 meals. Stack of five meals. What is Rick working on? Good, he's hauling steel. Okay, good. Working on hauling in all that steel. Okay, good. <sighs> he kind of likes being in his own bed again. <laughs> Two percent, two percent, two percent. It's like, gee, one well placed mortar will just destroy that entire wall structure. There we go. This guy's gonna work on the simple meals to catch them back up. Oh, 
Rapid Supplier, nothing we really need. We'll hold on to the spare minigun for right now. Where are you going? You're repairing a geothermal. Okay. That reminds me, I need to go take a look out here. Somehow we lost a wall here. Let's check the other ones. You're good, you're good, you're good. You're good, you're good, you're good. So the other ones are all fine. Just the one we lost a wall in. Rick is already fixing it. There we go. And we aren't missing any conduits, are we? Nope, all our conduits appear to be fine. Wait, nope, right there. Alright, and then we're going to... While we're at it, we're going to snake another conduit there. The secondary path. We're going to snake another conduit there. And we're going to snake another conduit here. Kind of make some extra paths just in case. There'll be the conduit there. I want to stick a conduit through here, but at the same time, I don't want to mine that out. So, what I will do though is I think I'll snake one up through there. And another one up through there. A little line there. There we go. Redundancy. And just one straight down there. There we go. Let's make a whole bunch of redundant paths. So, hopefully, if like one line goes down, then we we're not gonna have to be disconnected from the entire network like we were down here with these two for the longest time before I finally caught it. I mean, while we've got the time and the steel, let's just go ahead and get it done. And we'll go ahead and set this up to mine as well. So yeah, we've got a couple projects that are going. Wheels are back up to snuff. Just working on brewing some beer. So we have some hops. There we go. Everything's looking good. Fighting with six colonists at this point in the game is actually pretty impressive to start with. So, you're doing well. There, Cambi is working on that path. Lights looking through the telescope, sky is doing something, going to bed. <sighs> the boom rat sleeping in the <laughs> that could be a bad thing. Heading back to rest. There's so many paths to build. Everybody's like, oh, I don't know where to start. 
I like more cargo pods. Beef. Too much for dinner. Scottish. Trying to go collect the beef, can we? Uh, we're going to we're actually going to send area, pretty much everybody down there to collect all the beef we can. Like that one, and then Kamba. There we go. Between the three, you guys, you should be able to collect all that beef. We got 148 venison, 41 boomalope meat, and 150 scarab meat. always back at the ranch so you guys are what you guys are at a hundred and three percent convinced by warden 102 percent so you guys are as good as you're gonna be without just not wanting to come is there 99 and 97 Percent. Just, just want to be a pain in the rear end. There we go. Now we have 100 beef. Too much for dinner. And they're probably gonna work around the dang trees that need to be cut. Oh, Rick's cutting it. Okay, good. Camba, focus on that one. Is a much better cutter than Rick is. There we go, Canva. So one good thing about you know building this now is not much has grown back since the poison ships yet. So that's not gonna really grow back till the spring. So we've got some time to build without having to worry about trees to cut down. That whole path done? Yep, that whole path is done. Yeah, alternate path number one complete. Alright, working on this one. Yeah, he's cutting down a tree there. And we started on that path, we didn't finish it, but we started on it. I just died of what? A heart attack. That's quite impressive, actually. That's one of the new things in it. You can have a heart attack. That's the first time I've actually really seen one. I guess it was enough to kill him. Zero's going to town. There's a ton of steel just sitting around out here from where the turrets went up and stuff like that. Alright, while you're out here, I'm just going to go ahead and force you to finish most of this. Nope, nope, don't equip the pistol. One more piece in this aisle. There you go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Two more alternate paths have completed. It is rolling through this. Let's 
good to have the steel to be able to do these redundant paths with, though. I will say that much. I mean, almost 3,000 steel. I'm almost tempted to start working on building the, the ship. And I've got almost 2,000 freaking plast steel. And I, I think I got enough plast steel and probably enough steel to legitimately think about doing the ship. Now half of me wants to kind of just see how long I can go in this playthrough. I mean, we're on, what, 76 episodes? 75? Something like that right now? No, 77. This is 77, I think. I, I, I kind of I want to see if I can get 100 episodes. And I've actually been able to keep the one a day so far. Uh, it's been rough. But I've been able to keep the one a day, so you know that's that's hundred days of RimWorld. I kind of want to pull the the playlist up now and see how many hours it is of of, of RimWorld of this particular colony. And according to this, we've survived five hundred and ninety days. That's that's a ton. I mean, that's, that's the last day of this, this year. That's going to be six years in, 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 in game time. And we've had, <laughs> we've had a ton of losses. Uh, no one should ever have to build a mausoleum this big for our colony. But as I said before, I've never had a colony survive this much loss and still function. I mean, I got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine empty rooms. That, you know, when I built this wing down here, I built it because I thought I was going to need it. I thought it was going to be a, a, a new wing that's, that's needed. And instead, you know, I don't think, I'm trying to remember if anyone ever actually stayed in any of these rooms. I think one person might have for an episode or two. But other than that, these rooms have been empty. They don't, I don't know why that one was still on. I'll shut the, the AC and it's off for the rooms that aren't being used. Save some more power. <sighs> Another combat supplier. Not even gonna bother to look. It's nothing I really want. Hey, camera, go ahead and hold. Some steel in whatever while we're over here. Just trying to get and then when I just gotta just kinda get all the steel from out here, at least inside our borders. Flo built the grand sculpture. There it is. It is a normal grand sculpture by Flo called Beauty. Uh, it's got Beauty of 170. It's called Beat Number 94. The work is shaped like Fred White becoming madly, violently insane as a last step. On June, on July 10th, 1504, which was last last year, um, just means that June 1st, but it was just December. Okay, whatever. Uh, he is depicted with a snarling face of a hare. 
The overall composition is very static. If you squint your eyes, the triangular composition of the image reveals the outline of a condor. Flow whatever floats your boat. Do it again. Uh, it gives me 170. It's not as good as Robin's scarcity for Kate, which was the tortoise enveloped by flame while nearly naked. It's rendered in a corpse like way, it takes place in the river burrow. So, yeah, we'll sell that one. Oops, I didn't quite get that one all the way in. Hey, grab that one for me. Azura, please. And Rick. Oh, Sky's grabbed the last of it. Okay. Cool. There we go. Now, at least all inside our borders. We don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> 